Hey, what up everybody? Welcome to Game Over ENT. Coming at y'all today with another Walking Dead Wednesday talking about The Walking Dead A New Frontier Episode 3 teaser released last week at PAX East 2017. Haven't had a chance to really talk about it in detail and that's what I'm here to do now. If you guys haven't already checked out this teaser on your own time, link is going to be in the description. But here we're going to be slowing things down and talking about stuff in detail, at least my thoughts in detail. So without further ado, play. Ever since the junkyard, you've been nothing but a fly in my ointment. Cool. You know what you did! You killed that little girl! For pudding. Mari! You brought this on yourself, Badger. Mmm, but revenge is mine, so Javier, straight off the bat. <laughs> no pun intended you know coming over here facing the face with badger right here our main antagonist man this dude is so responsible for like killing mariana as far as shooting kate as far as attacking the citizens of press guy destroying that whole community this is the man responsible right here so i i appreciate that they're giving us the opportunity to get some revenge man because he definitely deserves it man this guy is crooked now i originally thought that david would be the one actually disciplining or uh taking care of badger because you know seeing that he shot his daughter and potentially killed his wife you know <laughs> against orders too because i was led to believe that this is not how new frontier does things that it has a, a chain of command and badger went outside of the chain of command and did his own thing especially at prescott like that wasn't supposed to go down like that but yet here he is here and it's not david it's javier doing it so Hey, I can appreciate this quick time event right here. It's going to be a really intense scene, as you guys can tell. This is for Mariana. You had it coming a long time. Now, I am curious of whether or not Telltale's going to give us the option because, you know, we will be controlling Javier here of whether or not to kill Badger. Will that be a determinate situation or not? Or is that written in stone? And one also thing I noticed, too, is that he said this is revenge for Mariana, basically. He didn't mention anything about Kate. So maybe Kate is still alive. You know, maybe she's still out there and uh, she's not dead yet. Maybe she's being worked on the doctor right now. But yeah, this little fight scene right here is going to be nice. Moving on. Hello again, Clementine. All right, now this is actually taking place in the present timeline. Because uh, you can see on the right side right here, the Prescott sign. Man, I can't believe it, bro. They took the sign as a trophy, a symbol of conquer. They said, yes, boss, even though you didn't tell us to do this, I destroyed this whole community and here's their sign to prove it. Like, I don't even know how he could even explain this to David without David getting, like, truly upset. They, the whole reason they went to Prescott was to get revenge on Javier and Clementine for killing their people, right? And they end up killing the whole community of people that had nothing to do with it while letting Javier and Clementine get away. It sounds completely incompetent. There is no way David could just let that slide. You know, maybe maybe that's what happened. Maybe David, like he saw what happened here. He wasn't too pleased with it, the actions that happened. And he allowed Javier to go back there in the back with his baseball bat and exact his revenge on Badger, you know, catching him off guard. Maybe that's what happened. You know, David didn't want to do it himself. He let Javier do it. And that's how uh, Javier ends up, you know, getting to a fight with Badger in their own community. But back to the scene right here. I wonder if this is determinate because if you guys remember like in the end of episode two you had two options you could either you know use Clementine you know tie her up and use her as a bargaining chip at the gates of New Frontier or you can let her go about her business. I wonder if this is the let her go about her business route because then she's able to sneak in and catch David off guard like this holding him to gunpoint and probably the opposite would be she's tied up the entire time because we use her as a hostage so I'm not too sure if this is like determinate or is this all across the board. He stays. You monsters! No! 
bro nothing looks good right there nothing looks good bro now you can see that this scene is actually taking place in a flashback this is not the present timeline i mean just looking at the environment they're in the middle of the forest right now you see the trees so this is definitely not in the middle of richmond where we are right now we got some characters that we know and some that we don't know on the left side right here we have ava a character we saw at clementine's flashback on the right side here we have this pale looking gentleman and we see the insignia of the new frontier on his left hand there but um you know he looks a little different from the normal new frontier people so i'm thinking he's somebody with some kind of uh authority or some kind of like uh special privileges because just looking at his clothes and looking at his glasses maybe he's a scientist i don't know but he's definitely someone important to new frontier and then we got ava ripping aj out of clementine's hands and AJ does not look good. I seen some comments saying that AJ could be bitten right here, but that actually goes back to my last video about um, is AJ did. I already said that I don't think he's dead. I think he's too important to Clementine's storyline for them to kill in the flashback. But you know, if he was bitten right here in the past, this is the uh, flashback, right? He definitely wouldn't be alive in the present timeline. But also, it wouldn't make much sense for him to be bitten and then them to be kidnapping him from uh, Clementine. Because I think the worst possible thing they could do if he was bitten was to let Clementine actually have him. And then she would have to deal with him when he turns. But man, that would be like super dark. Yeah, this it's not looking good right here. Um, my theory is that AJ is still alive. New Frontier still has him. And that's why Clementine was, try was trying to play it safe at uh, you know the gates, try to get the jump on David, maybe uh, you know force him to release AJ. Like, hey, I got you the gunpoint. I'ma kill you unless you give me AJ. You know, catch him off guard like that. So maybe that's what's happening in this teaser. But yo, guys, that's all I got to say right there. Uh, like I said, a very interesting teaser. Telltale actually surprised me with this one because I wasn't expecting to show all this. Like especially not AJ, this is actually revealing one of the mysteries of what's kind of going on and how Clementine split up with New Frontier. And it uh, looks like we begin, hopefully we're getting a longer uh, flashback this time around because they got to go over a lot of things. Like Clementine's relationship with New Frontier, like how did they get started off, how was everything fine at first and then it got out of hand to the point where Clementine possibly wanted to leave. New Frontier said no and now they're kidnapping AJ using him as like leverage on Clementine, you know. I'm not too sure. And maybe we'll see Clementine actually get her branding too. Her new frontier brand that she has on her arm. That all could be there in episode three. So episode three looks like a lot of potential in Clementine's flashback. We'll be learning a lot of new details about new frontier and uh, Clementine's relationship with them. But yo guys, that's all I got to say in this little breakdown right here. If you guys appreciate this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, the uh, episode itself is coming out on March 28th. So you guys can expect gameplay here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Game over. Out. Like I said, I'm not asking for your forgiveness. I just had to explain because if they're really in control in Richmond, I can't let them see me. I just can't. So when we reach the other side of this tunnel, I'm leaving. Y'all planning on joining us? Shh.